In the western region of the North Atlantic Ocean, a strange triangular mass pervades the open sea, and it's a great source of myth and mystery. A span of water bearing many names from the Devil's Triangle to Hurricane Alley and finally the Bermuda Triangle. As early as 1492, there have been strange encounters poking fun at fact and theory. Many have been lost, most never found, and some dismiss the whole thing as a hoax. While science seeks to explain the unexplainable, the only thing missing are the stories from the victims themselves, the lost souls of the Bermuda, whose disappearance is the only story we have left. So here are 10 crazy facts about the Bermuda Triangle. Number 10. It might not even exist. According to researchers, there is no official information on the Bermuda Triangle. This mystifying trigon if islands is known to stretch from Florida to Bermuda and Puerto Rico, then back again. The zone itself is not a registered territory and has not shown up on maps. Due to the size of the Bermuda Triangle alone, experts claim that the amount of mishaps that take place can only be normal after all. The disappearance of about four planes and 20 ships per year seems to make sense. Further researchers credit the immense depth in the place surrounding the Bermuda Triangle to explain the sinking of ships to unreasonable depths unto which discovery doesn't seem possible. Finally, irregularities in currents and caves present around the treacherous triangle make ships an easy victim to sinkholes and whirlpools. Said sinkholes produce methane, which bubbles at the surface and is another cause for compass confusion, a mismanaged navigation that these theories seem reasonable enough. And while we're on the subject of methane, number nine, the methane theory. This theory explains sunken ships never discovered, as well as strange navigational readings. Scientists have found giant bubbles of methane gas on the ocean surface as a result of decomposing marine life on the seafloor below. As the gas rises to the surface, the bubbles erupt without warning, and underneath even larger holes are left behind. The giant holes, or gaps in the sand, are covered by muddy residue that creates vacuums and sinkholes. Since the water becomes much denser in the process, any mishap on the surface can easily result in a sinking ship that is sucked into one of these holes covered by sand and never traced again. In addition, the methane gas releases a magnetic energy that causes compass readings to go off the grid. The solidified methane gas that erupts and creates pockets are enough to drag down high-tech submarines and even heavy cargo ships. Number 8. Shakespeare's Tempest was inspired by it. In 1610, the famed William Shakespeare wrote a play about a shipwreck and a crew of men stranded on an island after a grave and dangerous storm, the eponymous Tempest. In 1609, the famed sea venture crashed into string islands of Bermuda, named by a previous sailor, Isles of Devils. The ship, along with a small fleet, endured a terrible storm that left one vessel crushed to pieces on a deadly reef surrounding Bermuda, and two others lost in a fatal hurricane. All ships were sailing from England to Jamestown Colony of Virginia, bringing supplies and then the newly appointed Governor of Virginia, Sir Thomas Gates. After several months and the crewmen rescued, one man headed to Virginia where he shared his tale with a few names, including Sir Francis Drake, writer Ben Johnson, Sir Philip Sidney, Sir Francis Bacon, and the Earl Southampton. The latter was a close friend and confidant of William Shakespeare. Number 7. Natural Disasters of the Sea Rogue tidal waves and cyclones add to the mystery and hype surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. Hurricane season hits this plot of ocean harder than any other region in the entire world, and thus gives us the zone one of its other nicknames, Hurricane Alley. These cyclones form on the water seemingly out of nowhere and tear through the triangle only to gain momentum and speed before causing great destruction on land. Rogue waves or massive tidal waves also appear suddenly as surface waves are well known for their unpredictable nature. 
Tsunamis and water vortexes are currently cause for shipwreck, but how they form at random with frequency is still unknown. Researchers blame the Gulf Stream, a massive warm running river that spans 50 miles wide and runs straight through the Atlantic Ocean. Others claim microburst and tense downdrafts produced from thunderstorms are the culprits for plane disappearance, the flipping of ships, and the aforementioned uproar of waves. Number 6. Navigational Chaos When flying an aircraft or guiding a ship at sea, one thing is essential – accurate navigation. Especially in a region known for its finicky weather patterns, abrupt wind, and wave behavior. It just so has to be that the Bermuda Triangle is one of the only two places on the globe where a compass point to true north rather than magnetic north. When this occurs, ships and planes suddenly find themselves lost and far off course. Once entered, the mysterious zone plays havoc with all instruments. And yet there are a few assumptions. Magnetic vortexes, hot and cold currents such as with the Gulf mixing with the Atlantic may result in electromagnetic inconsistencies that mess with all navigational tools and vehicles. Number 5. The Mere Size of It All At the mention of the Bermuda Triangle, speculators might think of a strange little trigon in the remote part of the sea, a tiny zone denoting mystery spot tendencies. Rather, this geographical mass of mayhem spans between 440,000 to 1.5 million square miles of the Atlantic Ocean. Due to the mere size alone, researchers accept the fact that the number of mishaps can occur here, making it all the more likely that debris and wreckage become lost and never recovered. This makes it difficult to track steady evidence of a crash in 500,000 miles of tremulous waters. The underwater topography alone may be the cause of a long list of disappearances. The seafloor shifts from sloping continental shelf to an immense depth drop-off. As some of the world's deepest trenches are found in the Bermuda Triangle, debris that sinks into these underground channels would never be found. There are no geometrical borders that can be firmly attributed to the triangle, namely, it consistently moves around. Due to the strange weather patterns, magnetic interferences, and other unexplained phenomena, strange encounters occur in and also around the limitations of the markers set by scientists. So based on weather or season, the Bermuda Triangle may extend beyond its initial boundaries, while the perimeters of Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda are fixed locations on a map, the triangle has never been stable. To understand this better, one may associate a triangle shape that hovers over three points, shifting with the rough sea winds or alternative times of year. Number 4. The Lost City of Atlantis While there's not much proof to this story, some claim there is a small formation of rock within the triangle that are remnants to the Lost City of Atlantis. Located off the Bahamas, there lies a small string of landmass known as the Bimini Islands. Here, a jagged line of rock sits barely below the water surface. The markings on these stone fronts resemble human handiwork and the use of handcrafted tools. Many believe that these pieces to be fragments of an ancient road or wall. As speculation has it, the ancient city relied on special energy crystals whose power was so magnetic that even today, Buried deep down below the ocean floor, the energies alone are enough to disrupt travel and confuse navigation. These rocks and markings were discovered in 1968, which was the same year psychic Edgar Case predicted the evidence of Atlantis would be found. Number 3. Then there's the fog. Speculators claim that fog may warp time, and the young pilot Bruce Gernon was the one to fuel this theory. In 1971, Gernon was flying over the Benimi Islands when suddenly a grave storm swept the area known as the Bermuda Triangle. Desperate for a way out, the pilot found a peculiar cone-shaped tunnel that had formed out of the fog in front of him. As soon as Gernon entered the tunnel, unexplained things began to happen. Suddenly, lines on the walls appeared and began to spin counterclockwise. As his compass began to convulse out of control, Gernon contacted Air Patrol until which they reported that the small plane was nowhere to be seen on the radar. 
The pilot claims to have felt a light floating sensation as if gravity did not exist. After exiting the tunnel, the plane reappeared to the authorities, yet Gernon reports having lost 28 minutes on his watch. The journey through the tunnel and over the coast of Florida lasted only what was to Gernon claims a time warp which propelled him 30 minutes forward in time, and 100 miles forward to him what felt like a matter of seconds. Number 2. Perhaps the aliens are to blame Theorists insist that the area consuming the Bermuda Triangle is home to one of the highest occurrences of abduction and UFO sightings in the world. Some say it's a portal to other planets with more than a thousand ships and planes having vanished in the Bermuda. Only few have been recovered. The few that have bear little to no traces of the life that had began their journey due to the crewmen and pilots who seemingly vanish into thin air. Researchers turned to paranormal activity to explain some of these mysteries, but this theory became so popular with alien enthusiasts, even the famed Steven Spielberg used the Bermuda Triangle as inspiration for his hit film, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Number 1. The Biggest Phenomena Are In Its Disappearances since the 1600s, numerous crafts and vehicles have either vanished or met with fatal accidents in the Bermuda Triangle. Even after painstaking search operations were performed, not an inch of debris could be found in most cases. These incidents continue into present time and while there are tentative explanations and theories to support these disappearances, most to all remain unexplained. In 1812, Theodosia Burr Alston, daughter of former United States Vice President Aaron Burr, was a passenger on board the Patriot, heading from Charleston, South Carolina to New York City. On December 30th, 1812, she was never seen or heard from again, and her disappearance has been cited more than once in relation to the Triangle. In 1814, the USS Epervier and crewmen disappeared while carrying the peace treaty to end the war between America and the North African Barbary states. They were never found. In 1855, a schooner by the name of James B. Chester was discovered floating in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle, with no crew and no sign of struggle, but all the life gear safely intact. 1881 featured the famous Ellen Austin, who along its voyage came across another ship sailing without a single soul on board. The Ellen Austin then moved some of its own crew onto the other ship, attempting to guide the lost ship with it to New York. On the way, the other ship disappeared and later reappeared, yet this time without a single passenger on board. Soon after, it vanished altogether without a trace. 1918 saw the single loss of life in the history of the U.S. Navy. The USS Cyclops had a crew of 309 men who went missing sometime after March 4, 1918, after departing the island of Barbados. In 1945, there was a handful of training aircrafts for TBM Avenger bombers of the U.S. Navy that went missing while flying over the Atlantic Ocean. The team set out on a mission to train but never came back. Two rescue Martin Mariner aircrafts with a crew of 13 were sent to search for the lost team. Only one of the Martin Mariners returned, and the other was never traced again. In 2003, a newlywed couple by the name of Frank and Romina Leone took their 16-foot boat out for a fishing trip. They left from Boynton Beach, Florida on June 18, 2003, and were never heard from again. In 2015, a cargo ship by the name SS El Faro became the worst victim of the Bermuda Triangle in over 30 years. The 790-foot container ship had 33 crewmen on board, as well as a large number of containers, trailers, and other vehicles. A tropical storm turned deadly hurricane consumed the ships as all forms of communication fell silent. After creating great havoc, the hurricane retreated in the same direction from when it came. After weeks of searching, the SS El Faro was found sitting perfectly upright in one piece at a depth of 15,000 feet on the Atlantic Ocean floor, to which there was zero trace of any crew members. In 2017, on a clear day with no weather warnings, a small private aircraft carrying four passengers flew from Puerto Rico to the southern tip of Florida. Air traffic control lost contact with the plane at about 2.10 p.m., and the craft simply vanished. The plane, nor the passengers, were ever recovered. These are only a few of the many accounts regarding pilots, sailors, crewmen, authorities, and lovers lost at sea.